Hey friends, happy weekend to you. Today we continue with the 40 things to give up for Lent and beyond. And today we are giving up a small view of God. I've always been fascinated by astronomy. For me, astronomy is the study of just how big our God is. The study of astronomy is something that is so humbling that when you look at the sky, the stars in the sky, it just makes you to feel small. It says in the book of Psalms, Psalm 19, verse 1, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. It was in 1990 that the spacecraft Voyager reached the edge of our universe, and scientists had it turn around and take a picture of where it had come from. It had traveled for 12 years at the speed of 40,000 miles per hour, had gone 3.7 billion miles. And as it turned around and took a picture, this was the picture that it took. Now this picture looks like someone forgot to take the lens off the cap. But the reality is that this is the darkness of space. The rays of color that you see in the picture, that's the sun reflecting off the spacecraft. And if you look in the beam of light on the far right, there you'll see one small white pixel that looks out of place. That's a picture of you. Did you smile? That one pixel is the earth, the earth that we live on. Are you feeling small yet? If not, consider this. The speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. What that means is light travels around the earth in one second seven and a half times. It takes the light of the sun 93 million miles away. It takes it eight minutes and 17 seconds to get here from the sun. Now the reason I talk about the speed of light is because when it comes to measuring distance in space, the measurement that we use here upon the earth, miles, it's a useless measurement. We measure things in space in terms of light years. Light travels over the course of a year 5.9 trillion miles. Now some of the implications of this realize it would take more than four years for us traveling at the speed of light to reach our next nearest neighbor, the next star other than our sun. Using modern technology, we can't even fathom making it that distance in that way using what we have. Also consider this, even if we could travel at the speed of light, we would not be able to travel across our Milky Way galaxy in one lifetime. It's estimated that the Milky Way galaxy is 100,000 light years from one side to the other. The next closest galaxy, Andromeda, is 2.2 million light years away. And if you're wondering, we are on par, we're on schedule to collide with Andromeda in about 5 billion years from now. But anyways, in so many ways, realize that the universe is bigger than our reach and our understanding. This is not so much an exercise today to make you feel small, but to help you realize just how big our God is. Our God is the creator of it all, and he is bigger than the universe. He formed the sun, he formed the Milky Way, and the other distant galaxies in the universe. It's been said, don't tell your God how big your problem is, but rather tell your problem how big your God is. And it's amazing to think that the infinite God of the universe, that he cares so much about you that he knows the very hairs that are numbered upon your head. He is your creator and he knows you 